Hi, welcome into my holiday setup here. This is Art Linux, and we are going to talk or make a video tutorial for ArcLinuxISO.com. So that's more the website where the more technical things come and um, uh, will be the website where we'll host how to start from scratch, how to build your own distro based on Arch Linux. Now, I want to talk about the scripts. I've rewritten the scripts and scripts are always going to change. They never stay the same and that's a good thing. But uh, with that, I mean that um, don't, don't, don't let it scare you off. Just start scripting. And if, when you look at the script for a year old, you say, what was I writing? That's normal. In scripts, you grow and you, you um, add complexity to it. But it, at first, it's a very simple thing. It has three, four, five lines, and then you make it more and more complex. That's the, um, uh, well, the idea of, of, of scripting. And it can be, of course, very, very strong. And in this video, I want also to stress and to explain people. I say sometimes to you guys, um, this is, there is actually just one ISO. And I get it when we are putting out there 64 ISOs. I get it that you say, Eric, what are you saying? But basically, that you have heard already um, say that that I say that actually Arch Linux or Arch Linux is just one big Lego box, one puzzle you put in there. And I'll show you, I hope I, I can convince you at the end of this video that we are having one ISO, basically. So online, these are all GitHubs. Online, you'll find GitHubs and, and data. And on Arch Linux ISO, that's where we started, an Arch Linux ISO, okay? These are my development stuff and ISO stuff so people don't get um, wrong things. So this is just working and this is testing and or uh, again testing. So Arch Linux ISO, this is what makes it all work. So a few scripts, 30 is the number, the number 30, uh, where we use uh, but what we use, the number we use to run the script. So we're going to go into detail, but also in the back end. First, maybe let's, let's take at the job that I have to do. I have an Arch Linux ISO. And somewhere up there is also an Arch Linux D. Let's make it a little bit like that. But this guy and that guy. These two guys and this makes my work easy should your work make easy as well. If you do a right mouse click with two elements and then you say compare. Basically, that's the, this is the only difference because I don't want to see the same things. I want to see the different things that are different. This is the only difference between A and B, between Arch Linux D and Arch Linux ISO. And let's go into detail. There's only a letter difference, D. There is the reference here, D and D, just a letter, difference in letters, that's it, okay? So this is called Arch Linux D and that one is called Arch Linux. Okay, great, but it's that easy to customize. Here it becomes a little bit more difficult in the sense that this is D. Well, hard, I would not say that, but maybe brain. The customized um, root file system here is important. And of course, Arch Linux D, is a minimal one. So I say, don't do all these things. Everything that's green here is okay for Arch Linux, but not okay for Arch Linux D because we do not install Bluetooth. We do not install NTPD, etc. So these things should not be here. Hence the difference, but that's it. That's it. There are some uh, entries in the FE bootloader and the only difference again is a letter D. The letter D. Okay, letter D. So you're starting to get convinced that basically we're talking about the same ISO. Lots of the things is just a letter. Oh, shouldn't have opened that. XCF in PNG are not interesting to open up. Here it becomes interesting. Here 
this is the build script and the build script is provided by an application called Arch ISO and here things of course are still the same so the letter D and the letter D but this is a very important script built as H but take a look they're all the same the difference basically is a D and here of course the things change what pieces of the puzzle what Lego blocks would you like to play with in Arch Linux D we hardly play with blocks we say forget about sound you just care, take care of the sound. It's up to you. We don't install it on the ISO. That's basically what we've done here. Here, there are no hashtags and here everything is hashtagged out. So they will not be installed. And all the difference, all the blue, is super easy to, to see with uh, Melt. You see that there's no system configuration printer. You won't have a printer, all right? So that's up to you to decide and you can build your own Arcolinux D easily. Follow the tutorial on arcolinuxb.com and build your own Arcolinux D that does have print support, that does have LibreOffice and so on. It just takes just one delete and you have it. It's now going to be LibreOffice Fresh is going to be installed on Arcolinux D. Simple as that. The difference is packages. It's like a backpack. What backpack you're going through the world, you're going to go on travels and you're filling your backpack. Which puzzles do you, Lego blocks do you like? And that's just one hashtag away. So that's what I do. I just make a difference between what are we putting into the bag and what not. And of course, a special kind of installer for the D version. There is an X, well, the Arclinix version and Arclinix D version. Bit different for calamars and a bit different for system installation. We will not go into that detail. And then there's another script I want to stress. The 30 script is totally rewritten. So that's, that's why I did all the tests you saw maybe on Discord. All the 64 ISOs have been rebuilt, have been tested that these scripts work because there's a lot, a lot has changed. And the point was to get an overview at the top see structural what's the difference between Arch Linux D ISO Arch Linux ISO and there's one down here and that's it and all the rest should be the same and that's easier maintenance it's also more visual and the only difference here again is a D Arch Linux built and Arch Linux D built Arch Linux out and Arch Linux D out basically it's still the same thing the LTS versions with a D and that's it and all the rest is the same. And that's why I did it because of, uh, well, also educational value, you'll see later on. But, um, and these are just move, move the stuff around on my personal hard drive, move it to the beta testers and so on. Okay, so that was phase, I don't know if we can call it phase, but Arc Linux was built, open box, XFC i3, People said, oh, too much, too much uh, software. And then the counter action was to just strip software altogether and give you a bare system, which is Arch Linux D. You get a black screen and then you git clone anything you like, Plasma, Mate, any of these guys, and then you have a system. Now, later on, we were more and more into this building environment and we thought if we can build it if we can click here and say run number 30 so can you so we made Arcolix B and Arcolix B is actually still Arcolix it is and how can we best show you that maybe if you do the following with a super f5 i'm gonna open melt i'm gonna make a directory comparison no i shouldn't do a com directory comparison i should do a file comparison other going to the arc linux iso going to arch iso it's all what's going to be oh yeah directory 
So file. Um, it's all going to be about what do you want in your backpack? What Lego blocks do you want to play with? And that's defined in the packages. What kind of packages do you want? Do you want LibreOffice? And then we go to an article links B and I always start with XFCE as a reference. And in here we have, not in here, in here we have just one file, Arch ISO, a name I've already set, it's an application. It builds your Arch Linux ISO. So I'm gonna compare what's in this backpack and what's in the other backpack. And that's basically the difference between, let's see, the left side is Arch Linux ISO and the right side is Arch Linux B XFCE, which means we don't need a volume icon. That's for open box, that's for i3, that's good. All the differences should go, the things that XFCE doesn't need is Compton. It has its own manager for Windows. Doesn't need a simple call there. Nitrogen, Tin2, all open box stuff and i3 stuff need to go. So I kick out these Lego blocks with a hashtag, all right? I3 gaps, I3 is out. OB, open box stuff. Numix git, GTK theme, git is not looking nice on XFCE, but it's nice looking on open box. So out for XFCE, in for open box. And here come all our packages, our Linux things. So the I3 configuration, we're not having an I3 on XFCE, so hashtag in front of it. And that's how we keep selecting the, the toys actually and the blocks we like and we get in UISO. But basically it's still the same ISO, right? It's just another backpack that we take. We take the backpack for just XFCE stuff and for Plasma stuff and, and so on. So that's where I start first. Compare between Arch Linux ISO, these two guys, Arch Linux ISO, Arch Linux D ISO, moving to Arch Linux B, to XFCE, and if you take these guys together here, XFCE, XFC bare, XFC minimal, and you compare again, the only difference between these guys is mostly what do you want in your backpack, what do you want what blocks do you want to play with? Bare means really bare. So strip down um, and then it means just a lot of stuff that's not going to be installed. That's your thing. That's for later. You need to install Bluetooth. You need to install network things and so on and so on and so on. A lot of things just vanish. But that's basically it. It's just um, choosing your blocks. But how Calamaris is installed is always the same. You need the stuff. This is the stuff you need for Calamaris. So that's always the same. And that's how we go. Now, like I said, all the scripts have been rewritten. And here again, on Arch Linux B, the 30, and we have made them 31. Why are they divided? If you want to run 60 ISOs in one go, then you don't need an, something that blocks your automated scripting. We tell the system, build the 60 ISOs and I walk away. And they're just ready when I come back a few ways, hours later. So that's why they are well separated and not in like in the Arch Linux ISO, they have a choice. Do you want Linux? Do you want Linux LTS, right? That's a choice when you build those guys. Arch Linux D as well. But Arch Linux B is just from run. Okay, all 60 output. Let's take a look. The only difference, and this makes it uh, easy for me to, to maintain, the only difference between all these scripts is the word XFCE, XFCE bare, XFCE min for minimal. We need to have, we need to keep the words small. Um, there is a limit of 34 or something, I think. So, small. XFCE bare, that's it. That's it. This is the difference between the 30, 30 and 30 between these things. So basically you start to, to understand that we're still talking about one ISO. We are talking about a name change, right? And a backpack, what do you want on it? And that's it, that is it. There's no more difference between these ISOs. And that's so easy if I show it to you 
a melt. And it becomes more and more understandable that we can build so many ISOs just because we have all these scripts. I have here somewhere built all versions, boom. And it's output. And you have these scripts, you can have these scripts, bit.ly, so bit dot l y dash uh, slash Arco get started one. It's all on the website arcolinux.com. Get start, just type it in or get started one, you'll find it. So all the differences between, and then I com cross compare between desktops, what's the difference between XFC and Awesome? Right mouse click, compare. The difference is what kind of tools you want. Well, again, what blocks and we go all, all the way down and the only difference is these two guys. Awesome, vicious, these, Green at the bottom is often where, where it comes down to. This is desktop specific. This is very interesting to learn. What's down there? There is of course more than that. There is an Arch Linux, awesome, and XFC. This gives nice images for XFC. This gives nice images for awesome and some settings. But of course you want to have your setting for awesome somewhere up here. Here is your setting for awesome gone xfce but the left side it has X the awesome config of course and the conkeys are out because it's the tiling window manager not used normally you don't install conkey on that and so on and so on so here again we decide what pieces of the puzzle do I want and how do i create a desktop well basically this green thing that's the interesting part i think of the video that you can actually take a look at BSPWM, take him with it, okay? Three is, is maximum, I think, three. And click here, scroll down. That's what it takes for awesome. That's what it takes for BSPWM, you see? Ask XHQD and hotkey daemon, polybar, XDO, XDO tool, SUTILS, XTITLE, that's it. That's the difference between these three guys. And that's an interesting exercise, I believe. I, if only um, people would know that this is just as simple, just to compare, and then you have the knowledge, how is a system built, all right? So Cinnamon, Nemo, File Roller, Roller, Cinnamon Translations, Mint Locale, this is specific, and all the rest is all the same. Well, some of them are hashtagged out, but you see that 80-90% is, is probably the same and you can keep on comparing the same with the cinnamon and cinnamon minimal for instance compare minimal the word says it it just means less packages so minimal we just put hashtags in front of it but of course the main thing that matter blank is out for instance here but the main things of article links are all the same we still need and want the soul of article links on there and the scripts I like this. Okay, now let's run a script. So what has changed? So maintenance wise, you see there is super easy to just watch. Is everything okay? And the only thing I need to do is check out Mate Min and that's it. And all the rest is the same, should be the same. If I change something, it should be changed everywhere. It's super easy, I hope. Now, like I said, I have other things in my head. Uh, what ifs and then in the future you'll see the script change but nevertheless this is the situation now okay we i don't know which one we should run let's take the bear one from arco bsp w1 bear bear means it's fast to run right i, I so not not to waste uh, video time it's all the same so we have an arch iso folder with a file packages you can always edit this thing and say i do want to have from, for instance, somebody said on Discord today, I want to have Steam on my machine. Okay, just put here, theme. Voila, Steam is on your machine, right? Control less, safe. Let's put Steam on there. And that's it. Maybe I should go one step back. Where do I get this code? Well, Control G, Apple Linux, whoops. Arco Linux B, GitHub, where is that? Build it yourself. 
bear something. Here it is. Download it, download it, or git clone it. So if you do click here, you have a copy, and then go to the terminal, git clone. Well, maybe we should better, so I can keep this guy, original guy. Let's keep everything as is. These are my original files. Should I forget, then Steam is on there. So desktop, git clone, like so. It's there, it's yours. And then let's make it really ours and control find Steam, where are you? Steam is gonna be on the machine. Why not game and sour Brout and exotic? All these games, nah. It's gonna take too long, these guys. These guys are way too big. But let's take these two, three, uh, well, actually two applications. Oh, what did I do? Save. So, we've made it our own. This this is the, the Lego box. What we, what are we putting in our backpack? That is what we're putting, putting in there. And then you have to decide. Either you have issues with the kernel, the latest Linux kernel, if you do Ctrl Alt T, that is this is the Linux kernel, um, 5.2.2, and we're at 5.19.60 on the other one. You can always take a look just by query, for instance. Um, LTS. Ooh, that was not my password. Um, Linux. Okay, that's correct. What uh, did I to make a type? Well, let's just ask him. LTS. So four point nineteen point sixty. That was correct. So. Let's go in detail. When you run, what did I change in the scripts? I want it to be more logical, more educational, more colorful, more understanding if something goes wrong, that you have a visual aspect, what's happening. So, I have added some color. Phase one, clean up, download, latest Arco Linux ISO, again, I'm trying to convince you guys that there's actually just one ISO. So we start with the full ISO, we download it, it's gonna be on our system, in work. We have a, um, a copy paste already, so we're a little bit further down the road already, and we got our system in, okay? We've got our Arch ISO, let's have a look. We can take a look here. Uh, is it changed already? It is changed already. <laughs> it's already called Arclinx B BSPM Bear. But let's see that we have some code here. So we can track what's happening. So this one. Nope, not that one. Here we are. This one is the one we started. So we need to open that one with Atom is good. Nice coloring, of course, the other screen. So it has all kinds of variables up here. So all these things will change all the time, but beneath it should stay more or less the same. So what you see, phase one, let's put a more or less horizontal, the same height. Clean phase two here, clean up and download the latest Arco Linux. What I'm doing is I'm Git cloning Arc Linux. There is one ISO, guys. That's it. One. So, okay, fine. And then phase two, getting uh, rid of some stuff that's inside the file, the, the work Arch ISO. Well, actually, I'm removing this file first. That's it. Then I'm putting in charge my file, of course. Otherwise, Steam and Lutris will not go on there. So I'm deleting the old file from. Arco Linux and getting my file in with Steam. That's this line. Removing some old stuff, the old bash RC, and getting the new one. Getting the bash RC latest from online. So it can't be newer than that. If it's online, you've got it. St 
Start number two, getting the latest version for some important files. Okay, that was that. So work your way through it. Here is the bash RC. Then three, he has already renamed in this phase the Argo Linux to something else. Of course, you need to rename the ISO and the label and that's it. That's this thing here. So he's renaming on some parts, sets, find something, change something with it and in there, in there, in there, in there. And where are all the vari variables? Up here, defined. But down here, it always stays the same. Every desktop you choose, this is gonna be the same, but the content of the variable will change. Then we're gonna check if Arch ISO is installed. If not, you'll see where you see an installation um, text here but Arch ISO was already installed, so you see this thing. If the package is installed, it's already installed. Otherwise, install it. With either Yay or Trizen, I got rid of all the rest, uh, Packer and Yahoo and all that, cleaned it up. It's old, that's gone. Phase five, move files to build folder. Means we're gonna make the build folder, again, a variable upstairs there, and I can show you that at least. So we have a work folder and in here we are changing all kinds of stuff. In here we should find our own packages. In here we should find Steam. Check, right? So the, this is your file that has been copied over to a work directory. It's gonna move right now. First, we'll make sure that all the schmots are right. So all the settings for particular important folders and files are set correctly. Just making sure because working with GitHub and all that then tends to uh, miss and make all these permissions not correct. So we're setting them correct here so that the ISO will be, uh, well, correct. Now we are going to copy paste everything. So this is the copy paste, but he's, he's want something here from me. Copying files and folders to build folder as root. That, that's this line. Sudo means I need to put in my password and then all this kicks in, okay? And then we're off. If I give my password, we're off. Um, again here. All right, so. Like I said, uh, then we're off. We're renaming for five. We're at five now. Uh, build folder Arch ISO. So basically, we've, we've moved everything. The work folder is no longer here. It has been moved to Arch Linux B build. Here's your Arch ISO, installation scripts again, and you have your Steam in here. And from this folder, everything is gonna happen and you end up later on with a out folder. Let's keep uh, track of things here. Phase five, okay, well, well, cleaning the cache, yes. So this is a removing cleaning out of the work directory. After you, have it, you moved everything, you clean, can clean it up. And then we go to the build folder. And before we go in there, we first clean everything up. So this is the clean cleaning the cache so that uh, new files are downloaded, that there are no possible corruption of packages. That's good. And here we are with the script. Now, I tried to make some difference between green and yellow, right? Green is still number 30. Yellow is the build. This one is coming from Arch ISO. And I know I still have to make tutorials about that, but I really would like to be able to contact this particular developer because I still have questions. But we can always look already at user share arch ISO. Here it is. We're using the Relang and here is your build script. So this is not from me. I put in a lot of work to make it more readable in the sense more educational. Um, had to change some stuff in here as well but things are happening in here that are just the developer um, is doing right so he's the developer of arch iso 
and we're using the script. And the script starts here, yellow. So later on, we'll go to phase eight and that will be green again. So what's happening on the start build script? Uh, let's see if we can open that one, close everything up. So yeah, you can scroll up and scroll down. I always do that, that by mistake actually. Um, so if we go back to our desktop, you would probably do as well. And then in here, and then we have this arch ISO, no. So we definitely need to go to Article Linux be built to see something here. And the, and the Article Linux, you can do that, but here you have everything here. Open with Atom. So we had to change some stuff, some names changed. Um, the numbers need to change from time to time. And then everything is the same, but we, like I said, we've added some, well, titles and all that and some colors so that we know in what kind of phase we are and what's gonna happen at phase, more or less. Not in detail, but more or less we know what's going on. Okay, compare. Start of the build script. Okay, great. Start of the build script. Here it is. Start of the build script. Then set up custom pacman.conf. Okay, current cache directories. That's this line here. And he's going to, uh, well, I'm not going to detail because I don't dare to say what he's doing. But he's going to make sure that the pacman.conf is on the system. All right. Then the base installation all kinds of stuff that it needs and it's going to be initializing it's going to add some uh, elements here packages all that it needs so it's using a command make arch iso okay scrolling through as you see maybe you've done some installation arch linux this is the basic application that any arch starts with right so the core things of arch that's what we start off on the 39 things these things i sh should ask him what's that additional packages number three as this one okay here we have the packages 8664 that's our file that's in here so we decide to install the Rofi teams, we decide to install root, etc. So he knows already he's going to need to install a lot more. Here's the XORG stuff. Here is the base and the, well, the base was up there and the base development is here. And here we have everything else. So here's the bunch of stuff that does the backpack. That's what we want to install. In here should be Steam. There it is. Steam is in there. I already know it's gonna work. And Lutris is here. So he knows those are the packages I want. Scrolling down. Yeah, still scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. All packages, 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 packages. And here we are again at a, no, not yet a title. So there's some stuff about temporary files. Again, the same kind of error. And we are, this is something specific. Why is this red? That's also important that you know about the scripts, how they function. You know, I said there is something very special. I thought I called it the brain. It doesn't really matter what we call it, but this thing is important. Customize AI root FS. Arch ISO root file system, that's the thing. I always thought it was artificial intelligence, <laughs> but okay. Just a joke. So I've made some amendments in this thing. Lots of amendments, actually. He's going to count. He's going to make a color and everything is just defined in here with a function. So he's calling layout, 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 and everything is set up here. This is then my function layout, where it's gonna count, where it's gonna 
say echo one function this has been installed done so that's what we're looking at as this these red lines is going over the most important file on, on, on our arch iso i think that's of course personal what we've changed as well these days is that the live user that's the name of the login so it's not eric it's live user it's not article linux it's not article it's live user and the password is empty that's new so basically it means that you can also do control alt f2 f3 and just type in login live user about and you're in no password required this applies to real metal and virtual box so all these red things are coming from that particular file that's a long and important part and have, sometimes things go wrong here and i have to tell people it's there so now i can say does it have color red yes then it's in a ai root fs system arch iso uh, root file system okay so that's something visual already and when the red thing is gone well then we're back in the build script so then we're back in prepare and so on oh i've been typing here i think I'm closing this off so don't save build i've saved something as well here change something anyway eight was it eight six so when we get out of the build script at some point in time let's have a look so copy making it cpu and that was four function six five six here we are prepare kernel in its rom file system so that's here already at this point some extra files boot linux iso efi prepare efi boot image and we're scrolling to the developers file the build from arch iso and in the end is going to build something is going to uh, make an output right you need an iso so that's when your cpu will go all berserk eight cores will go up temperature goes up fans kick in and in the end another question i need to ask him what is this doesn't seem to affect us so everything works but just want to know if i want to teach this results in a 1.4 gig even though steam is installed but we started of course with something very bare so building the iso is the last part where your cpus are going to work like hell and then you have an output and these things well this uh, is a command to just go up there and do it, uh, the stuff then we are back in something green which means we are back in cancel don't save then we're back here so phase eight and this just so this is the thing that's all yellow right and in the in the yellow part there's something red that's the most relevant thing about arch iso root file system then we're going to just move whatever we created out of a particular folder so we can delete later on the build folder because it's a first of all it's big second of all it is also has the pseudo permissions it means you can't just click delete it, it you need to be root to delete it so we are cleaning cleaning it up uh, after installation so that's an overview of what we get so this one can well we can keep it uh, put it somewhere else on dropbox or whatever and we go to the file manager we have an adonis b out and we have this bsp wm baron of course i want to see it as well you probably as well too let's get and see if we can this uh, have this um, steam in there is it there or not all right And you pop it in optical drive empty choose disk article links b out click click and of course other screen let my virtual box stay on second screen rather than first
And now you start to understand that there is actually just one ISO to maintain. This is Arconix. It's stripped down. It does not have a menu. Yes, you have a right mouse click, so you can do all this kind of stuff. But it, there is no start menu and it's never intended to be BSP WM right now. It intends to be after installation. So XFCE is just passing through. It's just an empty uh, husk is the word I think in English. It's just a delivery system that we have and that's it. We deliver with this in between on the ISO smallest XFC you can have. But in the end, all that counts that matters is what you boot into. So we use XFC as delivery delivery system to install your desktop. And it has all it has all consequences. And we can have a look while we're waiting, it has consequences. We start with Arch Linux ISO. Arch Linux means XFC Openbox i3. What we're looking at is the display manager of LightDM. That's an important word. In ETC, LightDM, you have a configuration file. And in this file, it says, let's say, set this to Perl. Everything that's light is important, all the rest is rubbish. It says user, user session XFCE, but we have 14 desktops, right? So auto login, if that's important for you, you come here and you say, Sorry, I have an i3. Sorry, but mine is a Mate. Oops, that's not Mate. I have still a Azerti and Querti. Our mine is a Plasma and so on. That's the one thing you need to do to be able to log in. You can always, uh, sorry, you can always log in, but the one thing you need to do to auto log in, so you don't see the login session, you just move along to the desktop. Of course, you don't do this here, but I have time to spare, so I'm explaining it on the live DVD, live DVD is gone. You need to do that on the hard disk later on. And voila, the time is over. Now, another thing that's new from, not on the, the version you're having on SourceForge, but the one I've created uh, last uh, yesterday or something, is that we have also the possibility to go to TTY. Um, some of the users contacted me and said, hey, is it possible to go uh, in after this? Well, if before all the installation, actually, um, can we go to TTY? With Control alt f 2 you can, but this is a virtual box. So Control f 3 in virtual box and then live user and that's it. No passwords required. You can do whatever you want, whatever you think you need to do and you go back to Control F7 and you're back here. So that's new starting of September. Restart, restart. Let's boot up from the ISO. This is going to be uh, from the hard disk. This is BSP WM bear with Steam. You see? So we have some uh, desktops and the question is super f12 steam installed Lutris installed and it's just up to you to start running and, and playing installing login counts choosing your games and etc and you are playing on steam okay i think this um, covers everything i wanted to tell again we are, we have one ISO, from that one ISO, all derivatives were created. In the end, it's all about choices. What Lego blocks do you want to have? You want to have Plasma, those Lego blocks, you want to have Mate, those Lego blocks. It's all on the Arch Wiki, by the way. But of course, there is more to it than just Arch Wiki. There's some theming and tweaking, and when working, um, with with Mate, for instance, you start uh, thinking oh, I need this and I need that, and little little themes and tweaks that you say I want to have the Mate menu or not and the Mate tweak, etc. But more things than than just 
on the, the wiki. All right, I think that's, um, that's it. So the scripts have been rewritten, have been tested. You check them out. Maybe let's just end with one final thing to promote. Again, Linux, linuxb.com website. At any point in time, you do not have to wait for our ISO releases. At any point in time, you can burn yourself an Arch Linux ISO. You can burn yourself an Arch Linux D ISO. You can burn any ISO desktop you like. These are the full ones. These are the minimal ones. And for some, we've created the bare one. If you don't see the bare one and you want another bare one, you need to build it yourself. There are tutorials here. Correct Arch Linux B bare, you can build a bare version for any of your desktops. You know now what it is. It's a backpack. It's the packages file. What do you want to put in the in the, the back? And that's it. And then you run the scripts. You understand now more how it's built, what the differences are for all these colors, and um, have fun building. Alright? Enjoy.